Okay, in this example uh, video, we will show how to prove some Boolean expression uh, relationship using a truth table. So for example, the absorption law says A or not A and it would be, so A or not A, B is the same as A or B. How can we prove this? So we, there are multiple ways you can prove a Boolean relationship like this. Uh, one is to use algebra and formal proofs. Second one is to basically look at what the left hand side produces in a truth table and see what the right hand side produces in the truth table and the truth if the truth tables match then they must be equal okay and as long as we do this for all possible input combinations we can say uh, with certain certainty that the left hand side and the right hand side are equal so let's go ahead and try that so in order to do that there are two variables a and b so a and b since there are two variables can have a maximum of four possible combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so let's construct a truth table for a b and then we'll fill in what the a or b should be and then slowly work our way to see what this left hand side uh, might be like okay so here uh, let's start with this okay okay so on this truth table we have variable a b 0 0 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. So for each of these cases, let's see what A or B is. A or B basically means either A is a 1 or B is a 1. In this case, none of, uh, so the first combination case, so A is equal to 0, B equals 0. None of these are a 1, so neither of A or B is 0. 0 or 1, 1. 1 or 0 is 1. And 1 or 1 is a 1. So this is just a truth table for our OR gate. So that's the right hand side right here. That's the right hand side right there. So we have the truth table of the OR gate. And here is the right hand side. Right. So to use a little darker color here. Okay. So that's the truth table of the right hand side. Now let's take a look only at this column right here, A. And fill in this column, which says not A. So we're slowly trying to build up the truth table of this side now and see if it'll eventually match up with this. Okay, so not A. So let's fill that up. So A is 0. Not A means not 0, so 1. So same thing here. 0 produces a 1. When it's a 1, not A is 0. When it's a 1, not A is 0. Okay, so now we have not A all filled in. So we've taken care of this portion. Now let's see what happens if I take not A, which we just filled in, and and that with this column right here with B. So they make that or right here B and this column right here. So not A and B. So one and zero is zero. One and one is a one. Zero and zero is a zero. And a 1 and a 0 is a 0. So I have the column for not a, b. So this is now all filled in. Now we have this all taken care of, not a, b. Now all we have to do is take a look at the first column, which is a, and then this column right here, which is not a, ended with b, and or these two columns together. So we're going to or uh, these two columns, right? So a and this. So so let's take a look at this column and this column. So 0 or with 0 is 0. 0 or with 1 is a 1. 1 or with 0 is a 1. 1 or with 0 is a 1. So now that's what we got uh, for A or not A, B. So if we we'll take a look at A or not A, B, this column, and a or b this column right here for every possible input combinations of a and b each row match on the truth table so one 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 so that basically means a or b is the same as a or not a b so we've proven that a or not a b is the same as a or b so this is how you use a truth table prove something, uh, a Boolean expression.